and sensitive experts in the matters of taste and beauty. Please accept our humble respects from this little theatre company. And thank you for the invitation to this high gathering of exalted souls. On this holy day of Jamaastami, we want to bring to your attention the sweet story of how Sham became born. Yes. Let me first explain to you the rules of our game. I will lead the narration as my silent followers will eloquently illustrate the series of events with their well-trained and sophisticated bodies, as well as facial expressions, <laughs> as well as hand gestures. <laughs> as well as with their voices. And with their divinely inspired feelings. For example, quite like this. Now, before the start of our performance, please will you be so kind and bless us and generously forgive us our imperfections. And now, the story will begin. Once upon a time in blood, Act One, Christmas Bitter. Cry. <laughs> One day, when Krishna was playing with his friends in the vast Sola, the cowherd boys conspired to tease Kaneka so that he would be start crying. One of his close friends said, Kiraya, do you know that you are not the son of Mother Yashoda and Nanda Baba? Krishna replies, what are you talking about? Of course, of course I am their son. They, they love me very much. Friend continues, then he explains to me, how could it be that you were born to them when they are in their old age? After all, usually at this age, people do not have to. Now, another cowboy boy added, in addition, you are dark. Sham and your mom and dad are light. Usually children look like their parents. And then... The third power boy decided to reveal the truth to his friend. Once so Father Nanda went to the forest, there he found that the raven was trying to get something out from the hollow tree. He wanted to know what was so interesting that the raven found in the hollow. And what he found was a tiny boy, a dark hollow, without compassion. 
He took him to his home and gave him to Yeshua the mom. So that's how, that's how you appear to your mom and dad. Therefore, it is not at all known whose son you are. Hearing all this, hearing all this, Christian was crying bitterly and ran home. Act two, Christian's happiness. Act two, act two. At home, Yeshua was inconsolable. He was crying loudly, anxious. Yeshua Man tried to calm the little son, but he only cried and could not say anything. Gradually, mother was able to calm him down. Sitting, sitting him on her lap, tight to her heart. The short part said, Oh, Lana, what happened? Why? Why are you crying so bitterly? Kanea replied, You are not my mom. Oh, fool of my mom. How am I not to mother? Kanea. At your age, children are not born. The shoulder bar. Ah, when you drank my milk, I was young enough. But now, you think I am not young enough to be your own mother. The Christian thought, well, yes. But he still had his doubts. So he continued. Then why? Why don't I look like you and my dad? You are light and I am dark. The children of God replied, At the time when we wanted to have a son, we were worshipping Shaligram Sheila. I prayed very strongly to him for a birth of a son and thought about him, and he is black. So you were born similar to the color of Shalik of Sheila. Krishna therefore was very happy that the most beautiful, kindest, and sweetest mother was his real mother. Act three. Act three. Mohan's third. <laughs> At that moment, Purnamasi entered the room. Purnamasi said, Oh, Yashoda, may your eyes always glow with joy from contemplating the gains of your dear God. But, but why was you son? He was not known grief and braces of Gajal on his cheeks. What I was Krishna crying? Mother was Yashoda, answering the question of respect the beloved husband. Explain to her how Krishna spread the teasing and poking him, and that he then started to believe that he was an orphan and the adopted son of Nanda and Yashoda. must say, for oh, Ganea, oh joy of my eyes, oh, your mother's friends will be firm that you are a her own son. Everyone in Christ knows this. Krishna calm down. And then suddenly, a bright desire flashed in his heart and believing in the wisdom and power of Purnamasi, Mohan said, Oh, Kuderi, I want to become gold too. I want to become gold. Purnamasi smiled and said, 
to do this, you need to eat more of that Thomas. Can I reply? But I already eat a lot of butter and yogurt, and not only from my mother, but from other mothers too. That is not enough, If you want to become vocal, you must definitely worship the dust from the lowest feet of the special gold rubbish. Hearing the words of Purnamasi, Krishna became mortal and began to remember all those residents of Raj who had gold radiance. And in the dark sky of his memory, like the sun eclipsing a myriad of stars with its brilliance, the face of Srimadharanika was rising before him in his divine vision. He became intoxicated by her sweetest radiance. His cheeks, his cheeks became blushed purple, and in order to hide surging feelings from his mother and from Purnamasi, he took off and left and ran to his house, to his side of the house. The Shoda was, was, was saying, Where are you? Where are you, my son? Krishna, my buddy, mother, I need, I really need to be alone with myself. His face, Krishna's face, lit up from the smile of pure joy. And he thought, Krishna's face lit up. With pure joy, and he thought, I know, I know the one who will make my dark body grow. Shrivan to his temple room <laughs> and sat down. Shrivan to the temple room and sat down in his Purusha grass asana. He closed his eyes, <laughs> focused on and focused on the essence of his own speech. Uh, and as soon as he uttered the first syllable of the secret one, ah, the radiant image of Radhika flashed before his inner gaze. And as soon as he said, ah, the image of Radhika came to life, and together with her, a wonderful people appeared. And there they were together, just the two of us, two of them. Act four. Appearance of Gora. In a secluded porch, Mohan sits in front of the ornate throne of Sri Rama, pressing a to his heart. And tears flow from his eyes. Mohan's heart has a long desire. And he said, O oh, meaning of my life, Rasasana, fill the innermost desire of my heart. I myself yearn to experience the power of your love. I yearn to experience my own sweetness. Which you will love enjoying your ego power, unmatched and unique love. And I long to experience that happiness from my love, which is available only to you. And the great secret desire of my heart is that I want to experience the taste of service to you, the radiant wonder of 
श्री जीव गोपाल भट्ट दास Oh, 
Very nice acting. Kishor. Very nice. そう、このまま、アラティに入るので、もしよければそのまま見ていただいてというとです。ラマにです。なんで。オッケー、ウェアバンチスタートアラティ、サーベイビー。うん。いや、イフユワント、ビーサンワッチ、アンデンアフター